Hey, it's Junkman from VintageRock.com, back here at uh, NAMM 2015, and I'm uh, with a legend in the music industry, uh, founder of PV Electronics, uh, Mr. Hartley PV. How you doing? Great. Welcome to NAMM 2015. Well, I went to my first one in 1954, so I have seen a few. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine so. I don't even want to do the math right now, man. But, uh, man, you guys are always such a huge presence, such an innovator with just about everything you guys have done. What is going to be for 2015? Well, we have a lot of new things. You see, sadly, one of the problems we have in the music and sound business is what I call the cow path mentality. You have a million different variations of the same old thing. We always try to do something different. And that is the way, uh, that's the way we're doing it this year, too. We have a lot of very exciting things. Um, we, were the, we are the first people to put auto-tune in a mixer, both powered and unpowered. You, you know what auto-tune is, right? Explain to our listeners. All right, auto-tune is used, well, like that share record where the voice goes up and down in a mechanical kind of way. That's auto-tune. And what's wonderful about auto-tune is it can put somebody that's off pitch back in pitch without it sounding weird and crazy, and it does it automatically. As a matter of fact, uh, I think a couple of years ago, we introduced an AT200 guitar that tunes itself totally electronically. There's no servo motors and turning gears and all that. It, it's all electronic. And the beauty about that is that you can change tunings on the fly. You can control uh, our uh, Viper Pro amplifier with the guitar. And what's new this year is we've got auto-tune in our powered and unpowered mixers wow. so a lot of people that can't sing like yours truly <laughs> uh, you can just let that thing grab hold of it and it will put you back in key uh, even though you think you're in key you're out of key but it puts you back in and it's nobody else has it even if you're having a bad day and your voice is changed can you are you able to like lock into like your your particular thing are you like do presets or anything like that you can, you can do some of that but the the, the the primary thing is, you know, when somebody's on stage, you can't go up there and say, look, 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 lower the key. Right. I mean, this does it. It's got to be on the fly. Yeah. Well, you know, th that's one of the problems with technology. A lot of technology has gotten so complicated that people don't know how to use it. And this is especially true in churches where if somebody says, well, you know, you used to work for AT&T, so you go mix the sound. Right. He doesn't have a clue. So it's very user friendly. Very user friendly. Uh, I hate to say that it's foolproof, but... You can't say that about anything these days. Well, it's, it's, it's about as close as you can get. That's and you awesome. see, that's, that's typical of what PV does. We've always tried to be different, because when I started the company, actually 65, 50 years ago, wow. my idea was to be the best. And by definition, you can't be the best without being different, and we are. So every time, rather than uh, say, well, you know, here's our reissues. PV doesn't do reissues. A lot of times people come to me and say, well, you know, I bought one of your amps back in 73. Do you want to buy it back? And I say, you know, not only do I not want to buy it back, I don't even want to see it because what I'm doing now yeah. is light years ahead of what I was doing then. Right. But a lot of these companies, and, and I won't name names, but you probably know who they are, their new thing is their reintroduction of their, you know, four decade old products, which says a lot about what they're doing today. Yours is, yours is out with the old, in with the new. Well, you know, experience is the great teacher. If in fact that's true, I've been in the classroom longer than anybody in my end of the business. And in so many different aspects too. I mean, you guys do not only, as you mentioned, the PA system, you do keyboard, you're doing guitars, you're doing drums, you're doing everything. Well, because... Microphones. Uh, experience. We were the first ones to introduce diamond coated diaphragms for microphones. We were the first ones to do field replaceable speakers. And if you've ever had to recone a speaker, you'll know how important that is. Absolutely. So, so we have a, a history of doing different things, better things. Because you see, the dealers come here to see something that's new. And if something that's new is something that's old, kind of defeats the purpose. You come by our display, we've got new speakers, we've got new amplifiers, we've got new mixers, we've not got new guitars. The fact is we started making guitars out of carbon fiber. We think they're the best guitars out there, regardless of price. And why do we do it? Because it's different. Why do we want to be different? Because we want to be better. But it's much, much easier just to do what you did. You don't have to have engineers. You just duplicate what somebody else designed 40 years ago. And you'd rather lead than follow anyway. 
Well, as long as I'm in the industry, uh, I want to I want to build a better mousetrap. I want to build it for our end user customers. I want to build it for our dealers so that they'll have features, advantages, and benefits to sell. And that's what the NAM show is all about. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Hartley, I really appreciate you talking to this man. Definitely a legend in the industry. And uh, what's the booth number this year? You know what? I don't even know. <laughs> but, but you'll it's, see. You'll it's, see the big. It, it's it's go up the stairs to the right of the entrance. It's right at the top of the stairs. Always a huge presence at NAM. But and uh, keep doing what you're doing. Thanks for talking with us at uh, Vintage Rock. Junkmanvintagerock.com with the one and only Hartley Peavy.